Hey guys and girls, we're on a little adventure here in southern Manitoba and I did the mistake of going on local buy and sell and I've always liked these things, this is an FJ40 so I found this guy and these guys had about 10 years they're saying it was kind of exciting, we had to at very least come check it out and they will be taking this home and I've talked to my wife about it and see what she says so yeah, the boss always has to have the last word. The boss has got to have the last <laughs> word. So, so yeah, we're we'll going to walk around this guy and uh, potential project. Alright guys, I picked up something fun, a little toy here, we'll take a little interruption from our episode. It's an HPI Blitz, it's a 110 scale short course truck and basically I got the receiver and the truck and a steering servo with it. Picked it up for 90 Canadian bucks. Uh, we had to put a couple parts in it and I had to buy a charger. So we'll get the body off here, pull the four pins. Just as a note guys. I'm not a uh, RC expert. I wanted to try this type of stuff. It looked like fun. This one's supposed to be a reliable kit. So the guy I bought it from, he's duct taped the back to give the body more strength. So we've added uh, an ESC. I've bought a battery for it and we've got a motor in there. So the battery I got is this guy here and it's a 5000 mAh. Uh, I think it's a two cell, it's got, it says two S on it. It's a smart battery, so you plug it in, it charges, stops charging when it's done. It's a LiPo battery, so you gotta leave it half charged. And it's a 7.4 volts. So I also needed a gear in here. Um, I got a 14 tooth because that is all the hobby shop had right now. So it revs out pretty quick. I guess the motor won't overheat. It's also not gonna hit a lot of top speed that way. I'll change that eventually. So the motor is this package here, it's Spectrum, and uh, it's a 4000 kV engine, and it came with an ESC as a package, so ESC is electronic speed control, for those of you who don't know, like I didn't. The battery charger is the same brand, it's an S150, the basic one. So let's get a look in at the truck here, guys. So here's the truck, guys, um, adjustable suspension, the geometry on the front end is awesome. You can drop this thing from chest height, it'll take it. So the first thing I did, of course, is ramp it off the deck. So I put the ESC here, got the motor in there. I had to do a little mods to get this gear teeth to line up. I'm not pulling the cover off right now, but basically on the motor plate, I slotted it out. Then I actually had to grind away I'm sure those of you who do RC on a regular basis would say I did this wrong, but I basically ground out the rear chassis so that I could push the motor that way. So yeah, it's been fun. I had it out. So this is cool, guys. Um, back in the day, they used to do Baja. I'm a big fan of Baja, by the way. But they did Baja racing. has been around a long time, and they actually did muscle cars. So before I had this truck, I don't know, we'll say... 15 years ago or so, I'll confirm it on the date of this packaging. I bought this. It's a about a 70 Barracuda by HPI as well. We gotta paint that up. My thought is to stick it on here. It's not a perfect fit, but it will be kind of fun. So when I bought this to give you the idea of time frame, these are like I don't know, 90 bucks, 70 bucks now to buy a body. I think I spent 25 or 35 dollars on it. So it's an old body. I can put a blower on it or a shaker. Ah, here it is. 
I paid $36.99 for the body. Registration of this body was 2004. I bought it when it was new. So 2004, 04, 14, 24, we're almost, yeah, this is over 15 years ago. Almost 20 years that I've had this. Then I did a room clean out. I was still living at home with my parents. I gave it to Bob. Bob threw it in storage. I said, hey, can I have it back? So he sent it back my way. So my idea is maybe we will run this on there and have kind of a Baja muscle car that I can have an optional body to run once in a while. So we'll see, but I wanna take this truck on a drive with you guys and maybe we can get someone to do some filming for us. So let's go have some fun, a little extracurricular activities. All right guys, we got my son here and he is almost five. We're teaching him how to drive the truck. We built our mountain bike practice jump. So we're gonna do a little ramping here. Can you hold the camera, mister? Can you film him like this over here? Coming off the ramp, okay? You can come stand here and hold the camera. And then don't put your fingers in the screen, right? Okay, I'm gonna get the ramp. Okay, you go go stand up by the garage. Can you line it up? You line it up. You did it before. You show them how to ramp, okay? The people on the video. Oh, try again. Don't press the trigger while you're lining them up. Is that the right thing? Yeah, give her. Nice try. Oh, you got him off the road. There, that makes it okay. It's going. Will I press it when you do donuts? It's going right now. All right, look at me with the camera. Can't see you. Let's turn it. Can you see me now? Yep. All right, should we do some donuts, guys? Here we go. <laughs> Do a big drift, okay? Yup. You wanna try doing a figure eight here? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's trade. Give her. Look how fast can you go? Whoop. Go. Keep it going, keep going. All right, guys, girls, we got the body to fit, sort of. Should be a fun extra little piece. Well, guys, um, something happened. <laughs> but what happened initially was it was stuck in reverse because these two wires, when I connect, connected them color matched, uh, reverse would be forward gear. I switched it around and I'm pretty sure we were hitting 60, 50, 60 miles an hour at that point. And the last ride, we hit a hydro pole at top speed. So it definitely shattered the chassis right in half, uh, broke a steering linkage and the drivetrain seems a little out of whack. So we'll have to do an evaluation and see what is salvageable here. <laughs> <laughs> 